Security remains tight at the state capitol after an FBI bulletin warned about the potential for armed protests leading up to and possibly on Inauguration Day. Capitol Police continued their patrols while concrete barriers are in place outside the building. The Wisconsin National Guard is also ready. Wisconsin is one of at least 21 states that have activated Guard members because of the potential for unrest. It's all just too much for some business owners to worry about. A few on the Capitol Square made the decision to close up until the inauguration is over. Jennifer Cleasy is there now to tell us what's going on today. Jen? Well, not much is going on in downtown Madison. You can see behind me, not anyone on the sidewalk. People are staying away from the area because of the potential threat, and it's also a holiday, so some places are closed. Even police, though, aren't showing up like we saw them yesterday. Some businesses did not want to take the chance to be open today. Tammy Lax spent her Monday cooking for donations to people in need rather than for cu restaurant customers. She owns Harvest and the Old Fashioned, which are next door to each other on the square. After hearing concerns from police and city officials, she decided to keep the restaurants closed Sunday through Wednesday. Lax felt the unknown of what could happen was not worth the risk to her employees or customers. It's uncertain times, right? And it's definitely a path I've never walked before. I've never experienced this. I've owned this restaurant for 20 plus years and have never really had that kind of energy going on um, in our community. So we're just playing it safe. It's just really that's what it comes down to. Alex says she was at Harvest to work on some things yesterday. She was just relieved to see that it was so quiet. Now, there are several others in the area on the Capitol Square with signs up that are planning to be closed this week. That includes Starbucks here right behind me. They're going to be closed just on Wednesday. But we did see a number of restaurants and other businesses were open around the square. We talked with a number of people inside who said that they're just kind of going to play things by ear and just go day to day and monitor the situation to decide whether to stay open or not. Live in downtown Madison, Jennifer Cleasy, 27 News.